What's going on everyone, it's your rifle here and thanks for checking out my Destiny video. In this video I'm going to go over 9 extremely rare exotics in the game. I'll be going over 3 exotics for each class. I'm not exactly sure on how you obtain these exotics or exactly why they are so rare. Maybe some of you have gotten lucky enough to get your hands on some of these. I have actually heard not many have these or they were actually bugged into the game early. And the ones that have gotten their hands on them have gotten extremely lucky. I don't really know if that's factual information though, so don't take that for a fact. Once again, it's just something I've heard rumored. Who knows, maybe some of these are obtained during a quest, kind of like how we got the Black Spindle. You have to do something secret in order to obtain it. But then again, these could just be gotten randomly out of exotic engrams. Once again, I could be wrong about this info. Then again, you could look at it as some of these are gotten in a certain way, and some of these are just gotten just by, you know, picking up an exotic engram and decrypting it and getting it like that. You could look at it like that as well. Once again, I'm not for sure on how you exactly get these exotics. I haven't got my hands on any of these to be completely honest with you. And the first exotics that I'll be going over will be for the Hunter, starting off with the ATS-8 Tarantella. Not Tarantula, although I believe Bungie did think about Tarantula, then they were just like, no, no, no. I'm gonna go with Tarantella. Yeah. Just makes Tarantula sound exotic. I can just picture them being like that. I don't know why, because I'm sure a lot of people actually call this Tarantula and not Tarantella, which I honestly did too at first, but then I caught on to it. But no, what's special about this exotic chess piece is its perk called the Tarantella, which allows you to take reduced arc damage from Minions of the Darkness and arc grenades and arc blade recharge faster. Seems very suitable with the Blade Dancer subclass, obviously, and is beneficial just like the massive third man would be in a way. I have to say, this chess piece definitely sounds pretty sweet to switch up to my Blade Dancer with. I'll definitely have to give this a try. And oh yeah, I can't forget about the ats to Arachnid. This is also very similar to, you know, this ats 8 Tarantella. I mean, obviously, they both had the ats 8 and, you know, that pretty much means they're probably the same manufacturers, whoever created these exotics. But nonetheless, do not get this alarmed because it has the ats 8 in it, and they both have to deal with spiders. Do not get this alarmed. It does not mean that this chess piece is going to be a bad exotic. I'm telling you guys, don't get disalarmed. This is actually not a bad chess piece in my personal opinion. But the ATS-8 Arachnid was. But hey, that's just me. And in case you guys want to know what the ATS-8 Arachnid did, it basically made your golden gun zoom in a lot more. So basically your golden gun is a sniper rifle. Yeah. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Well, hey, if it sounds awesome to you, maybe give it a try, but... I don't know, in my personal opinion, I wasn't a big fan of the helmet. Up next I have for you a pair of exotic gauntlets for the hunter called Shinobu's Vow, and a special perk on these improved skip grenade usage, and also gains you an additional skip grenade charge. So for all the skip grenade users out there, these gauntlets will obviously be perfect for you. Which these don't seem like they'd be too bad in the PvE world, but they seem like they'd be more prone to be into the PvP world in my opinion. Skip grenades can definitely be deadly. Lastly for the Hunter Exotics, I have for you some new exotic boots called the Frost EE5, otherwise known as Frosties. These grab my attention the most out of all the exotics because speed and how you get around the map in the PvP world can matter. And the special perk on these exotic boots gain you a tighter turn radius while sprinting, which I have to say that sounds awesome, so you can control more how you sprint with these boots, if that makes any sense. And also not to mention you also have increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. In my opinion, these exotic booties would definitely switch up your whole game style. And who knows, that switch could help you gain kills and increase your kill death ratio. On the other hand, for PvE, these boots also seem like they would be for some good usage, especially for parts where you just want to skip past the enemies. This would also work great with. Not to mention to help you dodge bullets more often, I mean, you are sprinting. Overall, I just think these boots would definitely be a fun new exciting experience with. On the other hand, I wouldn't keep playing with these if they didn't really improve my gameplay. I just want to try them out because I have a feeling they might. Anyways, up next I have for you three exotics for the Titan, starting with the Twilight Garrison. This exotic chess piece also seems like it would help switch up your whole entire game style as well. The special perk with this is called Tactical Air Support, and the name suits it well. You can evade while being in mid-air with this exotic. Definitely sounds interesting to try out. This could definitely juke some people out. Up next are the Thagomires. And if you are a Fist of Havoc kind of guy, these gauntlets might suit you perfectly. The special perk with these is called 1-2 Punch, which allows Fist of Havoc kills to recharge your melee, and melee kills to recharge your Fist of Havoc. 
and you also gain an additional melee charge with these. So that can be beneficial in a way. It's kind of hard to get up close and personal though in the PvP world, but for the PvE, this might help you use your super a lot more often. On the other hand, for PvP, I'm not really sure if this would be as beneficial. Just throwing out my honest opinion. Up next though, for a Titan, I have you some exotic boots called the Dune Marchers, and they are very similar to the Frosty's exotic boots for the Hunter. The special perk with the Dune Marchers is called Speed Demon, and it increases speed, extends slide distance, increases the movement speed while aiming your weapon, and allows tighter turn radius while sprinting. This just sounds freaking insane, especially if you have something else on that allows you to see the radar while zooming in with your weapon. That would be one deadly combination in the PvP world, I can already see it. Not to mention, these boots kind of remind me of Master Chief's legs. You know, the Spartan off Halo, in case you guys don't know who Master Chief is. And if you don't know who Master Chief is, shame on you. But I'm definitely going to try out these and the Twilight Garrisons for sure for the Titan. And I'm not really sure if I like the Thagomires as much. But hey, they definitely look awesome, and who knows, they might play out well, especially if I want to switch it up with my Fist of Havoc. Anyways, up last I have for you guys the Warlock, I saved some of the best exotics for last. It might just piss off some people how good this first exotic I'm going to go over will be. Starting off with the Astro Sight Verse. It's an exotic helmet coming to the Warlock. There is a special perk on this helmet called Teleportation, which this reduces blink cooldown and increases the travel distance with blink. It just sounds freaking insane, and I already know just hearing those words from me is making some of your blood boil. I know a lot of you cannot stand Blink, and you're like, thank goodness that nerf happened to Blink. Well, guess what? If these warlocks get their hands on this exotic helmet, oh man, is Blink gonna be back? Not to mention, I can't really hate on this helmet. I mean, it does look sweet. I mean, look at it. It's like spacey looking, looking into this helmet. I understand looks aren't everything, but it's definitely a bonus, I must say. Up next is another awesome looking exotic for the Warlock called the Ophidian Aspect. As you can see, it is two serpents looking at an orb in the middle that's floating. Nonetheless, it looks kind of strange, but it's definitely an interesting looking exotic in my opinion. Anyways, the special perk for these gauntlets is called Viper Totemic, which that perk improves the Siphon abilities, and also improves your weapons ready, and it also makes it so you can reload very quickly. Nonetheless, this also seems like an interesting exotic for the Warlock that I'd more than likely try to give it a try. Don't know if I'd continue to use it often though. Lastly, I have some exotic Warlock boots called Transversive Steps. The special perk on these is called Strange Angles, it gains you faster movement speed while crouch, which I believe crouching does take you off radar in the PvP world. That might be a reason why you should try these out, I mean, it may spice up your gameplay. And also when you pick up ammo, it automatically reloads the weapon matching that ammo type. That seems like it would be more useful in the PvE world, rather than the PvP world with the first perk I went over. But nonetheless, once again, it definitely seems like an interesting exotic to try out. All of these do, I haven't seen none of these yet, and I've actually been hunting for exotics. Personally, I don't know why I haven't been getting them, but I have to say, they definitely seem freaking awesome. I want to give these a try, I want to get my hands on these. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and some of these exotics were new to you. And as always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder to remember to leave a like, everybody, and or share the video. The support is greatly appreciated, everyone. But this has been your rifle, and remember, Guardians, to stay safe out there, and try not to sleep and pee like a savage. Peace out! <laughs>